This is Crypto Cake Weekly Update with BitBoy Crypto. Welcome to Crypto Cake Weekly Update. This week, Jim Cramer of CNBC says he's not buying any more Bitcoin unless it dips under 20K. The new SEC head to be named by Joe Biden has finally been announced by Reuters. Dan Larimer quits EOS, his third company in under 10 years, and UK's Financial Conduct Authority warns crypto investors they could lose it all in DeFi. We'll also be taking a look at the crypto markets. Starting off today, Jim Cramer, CNBC host of Mad Money, told The Street this is no different than an entirely erratic stock when discussing Bitcoin's market. Cramer is still playing with the house's money after selling off some of his crypto before the recent price crash. In an interview with The Street, Jim Cramer stated he still believes in Bitcoin despite its $10,000 price correction over the past three days. Although, he added, he was unlikely to buy more unless the price goes under $20,000 again. He said, my goal was to get my cash out so I don't have to think about it. If it goes back under $20,000, I'm a buyer again. But I got my cost out and I'm playing with the house's money. This is no different than an entirely erratic stock. In our second story, President-elect Joe Biden is set to pick Gary Gensler, the former Obama-era chairman of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, or CFTC, as chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission, or the SEC. Reuter said that the nomination will take place in coming days. Gensler is not a crypto enthusiast at all. However, in the past, He's highlighted that the technology exposes some of the underlying payments issues in the United States. Gensler is a former MIT Sloan Business School professor, former chief financial officer for the presidential campaign of Hillary Clinton. Although he isn't a proponent for cryptocurrency, he has commented publicly on reshaping the payments ecosystem, including directly mentioning the emergence of projects like the Facebook-backed Libra, recently rebranded as Diem. Dan Larimer has quit EOS as their CTO, which resulted in a massive crash in the cryptocurrency's price after several days of going up. It dropped as much as 30% in under 24 hours following the news, according to Finance Magnets. Larimer announced his departure and resignation from EOS on Block.1's social network Voice. Larimer, the CTO of EOS IO, developers Block One and founder of early crypto exchange BitShares and blockchain based social media platform Steam, announced in a short blog post on Voice that he has resigned from his position. Larimer was also involved in the development of EOS in 2017 and later Voice itself. He further previously founded BitShares along with Charles Hoskinson in 2013, then Steam in 2016. He said, I am proud of the EOS IO software I was able to create and launch with the help of an extremely talented group of engineers. Alas, all good things must come to an end. As of December 31st, 2020, I have resigned my position as CTO of Block One. His departure from EOS marks the third project that he started and left in under 10 years. Larimer stated that he wants to spend more of his time developing censorship-resistant technologies which could be hinting at a potential next project involving social media for Dan Larimer. The FCA, the financial authority in the UK, known as the Financial Conduct Authority, warned crypto traders this week that high-yield investments could turn sour and they could end up losing all their hard-earned money. The FCA stated that it is aware that some firms are offering investments in crypto assets or lending or investments linked to crypto assets that promise high returns. They also added, if consumers invest in these types of products, they should be prepared to lose all their money. That was a warning from the agency. Bitcoin in the overall crypto market faced immense volatility this week. Bitcoin crashed to $33,000 with a brief dip to $30,000 after a sell-off on Monday, which saw $200 billion disappear from the overall crypto market cap. Despite the decline to 30K, Bitcoin is still only at its lowest level since the first day of the new year. Since then, Bitcoin has started to recover, trading at $34,699 at the time of this video.
We may have to endure a bigger correction, however, so make sure to hang on to your hats. Thank you for watching Crypto Cake Weekly Update. Please hit the subscribe button and tap the bell for notifications so you never miss the week's vital crypto news. I'm BitBoy Crypto, signing off. See you next week.